In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of our XD3000 Oasis Manufacturing 12-volt electric air compressor. Now, this air compressor is super small, really compact, does not make a ton of noise, but it does draw an incredible amount of amperage. So if you're hooking this thing up at your home or in your shop or in your car, which is how we have it up in our mobile tire truck, you want to make sure that you have at least two Group 34 AGM batteries. I actually have 431 deep cycle batteries that give me really good power all the time for service life and my truck has a 200 amp alternator so at full tilt this thing can draw as much as 180 amps but that's typically when it's at the end of its life when it's going to about 140 psi and you're trying to fill that tank the last few psi that's when it's going on this thing here in our tire truck is equipped to a 60 gallon air tank and we've got it regulated right now down to about 140 psi uh, we noticed that when we had it any higher than that, it wasn't really necessary for the size tires we were doing. If we are doing a heavy duty truck and we need to up the PSI to a little bit more to give us some more use out of it, we can bump it up. But most of the time we're just doing normal truck tires up to a 19.5. Uh, we've done maybe 122.5 with this air compressor. It's had no problems. Now, one thing I will note, it does come with a really long power cable and you wanna make that cable as short as possible. We have this set up exactly how it came in the box to us with the full kit and everything, and it's worked for us really well. I've done probably 400 tires using this air compressor, and we've probably got, I would say, anywhere from you know, 600 to 700 hours of life out of this. Uh, we do check the oil regularly. At the beginning, it went through a little bit of oil, but since then, I just check it in the morning and I only have to top it off maybe once a week. And we're using this thing probably 10 hours a day once it turns on, it does not turn back off. Uh, so one of the things that I noticed is that it was about 12 and a half minutes to fill the 60 gallon tank up. And when the unit gets really hot, when it's like, you know, hour three and we're just doing tire change after tire change, uh, it gets hot. It takes about 17 minutes for it to fill it back up to 140 PSI. So what I did is I just picked up a small little turbo fan and I blow the fan on it. And since I did that on the hottest day, it was like 98 degrees on the middle of a big parking lot, tarmac, super hot, and it was really hot in here. Uh, it only took about 15 minutes for it to fill back up from complete flat zero. So this is a super efficient unit. They have one better model, which is the XD4000, but I've had great service capabilities out of the XD3000. It's a really good contained unit, and uh, I'll just go ahead and show it to you guys real quick. So our XD3000 model is pretty compact. The motor sits at the back of the unit, and the air compressor section is just right here and it does not make a lot of noise. You can actually carry a conversation over top of it. Uh, compared to other air compressors, it's really quiet. We have this plumbed here as we come right out of our right out of our charge pipe right into the tank now this gets super hot so we have this well uh, well ventilated and well kept out from oasis manufacturing comes with a super long cable setup here so you actually have some length where if your battery packs a little far away you can put it but it's really good to make sure that you have your battery bank as close as possible the closer you have it the less wire resistance there's going to be the closer the source for the battery is going to be for the uh, charging system it comes with a bunch of wire right out of the gate and you can trim this down as much as you need to uh, we went ahead and just left it as long as it is just to see how it would work to kind of give it a durability test but typically when you have a high amperage draw unit you want to have the shortest amount of cable as possible but like i said we have four group 31 batteries here and we've got the cover off so you can guys just see it and they're just you know ran in a parallel setup they do make a 24 volt system if you have a truck that runs a 24 volt system but for us we just run a 12 volt system i have an rv charger that charges this if i do short power and then i also have the truck 200 amp alternator wired into this battery bank as well as well as another two batteries for the truck itself but this unit here we've literally run it all day long it hasn't blown up on us i had a little bit of a concern at one point on what type of fluid to use so i called the oasis manufacturing team i talked to the owner i believe john and he gave me all the information and a ton of helpful uh tidbits on how to have this thing set up and how to service it and give it a good healthy life so how I run this unit is I turn it on and then I get ready with my car to do all the tire work. I turn this thing off every night and drain the tank so that there's no moisture inside the tanks. And I use a little fan here just to blow on this thing to keep it cool because when we turn this thing on, it pretty much doesn't turn off for like eight hours. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn her on so you guys can kind of get an idea of audible. So now the unit's on. Um, it obviously makes noise, but it's nowhere near as loud as the air compressor on, let's say, 
one of your shop units. And this thing is moving about eight CFM, nine CFM at 50 PSI. And I think it's like eight or seven CFM at 100 PSI. So this thing is generating an incredible amount of air. And I just turned it on and the gauge is showing just about five or 10 PSI. So it'll take, like I said, about 12 and a half minutes for this thing to get up to a buck 40, which is where we have it set right now. And uh, now what I'll go ahead and do is just turn on my power inverter and spin my fan up here to go ahead and cool this sucker off because this thing will get so hot you don't want to touch it and this charge tube will get super hot as well you don't want to touch that either so i just have this little small blower fan just blowing cool air right across it pretty much the whole time this thing's running and i think that's going to give me a lot more service ice and durability uh, because once i do it this way it cuts off about two and a half minutes of time to fill this tank up and when you're trying to do you know, 10 tires, 12 tires at one location, the two minute recharge time will sort of add up. So it's really a good idea just to have some sort of cool air moving over it. But this thing's awesome. I mean, we've given this thing such a beating and it hasn't died on us yet. We use a really high quality fluid uh, for our compressed oil. We also picked up some from Oasis Manufacturing themselves, but I ran out of that type. So I just went and picked up a really high quality one. But you know, it's a really great unit. It's made in the USA. It comes with everything that you need to hook it up. If you get the kit from them, they'll give you a small tank. They'll give you the pressure cutoff switch, and uh, they'll even give you uh, a charge tube to release the pressure inside the charge pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on working on this car and uh, let this thing charge up while I'm uh, getting the tires ripped off this minivan.